Good morning, friends. How are you? Happy Friday. It has been a big week here at the Dancing House. <clears throat> so as I talk here, people will be hopping on or you'll be catching the replay. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, this continues to grow and build. And this is just a free little coaching group. I come in weekly giving you my <laughs> little tips and inspiration on marketing and growing. Hi, Lisa. How are you? And it's also um, <clears throat> a time for me to reflect on my week, on what went well and what didn't and what I can learn from. And so I did a blog this week about uh, growing your studio or avoiding the summer slump. And in that um, blog is a great article I linked to about uh, five ways to grow your studio. And those are all awesome ideas. Totally love them, love them. But they exchange time for money, meaning you do it once, and you don't get paid for it again. Hey Jess. Um, and that's that's fine, that's the way most people work, right? I mean, we teach dance one class and we don't get paid for it again. Um, but I challenge you, and that's the whole point of this group, is to consider how can you scale yourself or duplicate yourself. And by offering a course, curriculum, membership, um, mastermind, these are ways to duplicate yourself and with today's technology, it is easier than ever. Um, so I just want to speak about that. This week, I have had um, I've had an open membership for my uh, virtual, and I invite you to ask questions here because I'm kind of going off the cuff today because it's been such a crazy week. But I wanted to still hop in because um, I have had TDH Virtual Dance on Demand for two years now, but it has always been an open membership, like anybody can join anytime. And I continue to learn. Um, I listen to podcasts all the time and download anything I can get and work with different people and met with mentors. And they have told me that close your membership and you will grow your business. And I was like, oh, wait, no, but, and you guys, it's the truth. It's the truth. I just decided to do this early this May and then looking at the calendar, my season ends this week, Memorial Day is the next week, and then it's summer. And I knew I wanted, the odds of getting somebody to join during the summer would be a little bit less. So here we go. And I've known I should do a live launch. I know I should be getting out there live, but it is scary, okay? Super scary. Facebook group here is a little easier because it's, I'm controlling the who's in it. When you're out there live uh, doing a, a launch, you, it's a little scarier. Now, I did not do it the traditional way through a webinar. What I did is through my Facebook page. So it's live through that, which is a little bit more scary because um, it, it's to the masses, whoever you know gets it. Um, but <clears throat> you don't learn, at least for me, I learn best just by doing. You cannot... You can read and listen all you want and um, be coached, but until you actually do it, do you learn? So I'm gonna give you a couple tips of how, what I am learning. <clears throat> and I'm gonna write a blog about this uh, in a couple weeks because it, it's a lot to take in, but just a couple nuggets today. If you are, and this is something you can do right now when you're brick and mortar, um, if you are launching something new, maybe it's a new class, maybe it's a workshop, don't do it by yourself. Get a group of people. So I have a mini launch team that I am working with. Now I could pay for Facebook ads, but I don't really wanna spend the money if I can have a group of people that are gonna really promote it for me. And, and for my business, it's gonna be word of mouth, word of mouth, word of mouth. So I'm choosing to go that way and do some Facebook ads. But um, I have a group of 10 people that signed on that said everything that I will promote or put out there, they will like, comment, react, and spread it out to their network. That's huge, you guys, because that's, that's a word of mouth referral that somebody's coming in. Um, so I have a group of 10 people, so I recommend you do that. Like if you're doing a, a workshop or seminars, get your 10, 20, 50 close people that love you and know you and want you to succeed and say, hey, uh, for a week, or give them a timeline. Like I told my people, it's Sunday to Sunday. Every day I'm gonna post, I need you to do it. And then I text them when I post it so it gets out there right away. 
So do that, okay? That's a really grassroots way to do it, but it's really effective, okay? And um, I'm giving my people just a $25 gift card, like an Amazon gift card, or maybe they're uh, students of mine already, and I give them a $25 gift card to the studio. So um, they, and, and most of them are like, I don't need a gift card, I'll help you out, no problem. And so that's kind of cool, and, that, and that's something I would highly recommend. The other thing I recommend is a sidekick. Um, I really don't, like I'm doing the best I can with what I have, but I have this amazing, amazing student who reads my mind. Um, she's an adult student, and she totally started about two years ago just like doing a, like a 30 second video clip of my class. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Hey, can I use that to post? She goes, absolutely. Well, now it's, it's delved into like she does a video every week for my class and she puts it out there. She's a she's now um, a mod, what do you call it moderator or whatever. She's she's basically me inside all my groups or my pages. And she's doing things that she's like posting stuff that I didn't even think to do. And it totally makes sense. And she's so on top of it and she's so consistent. And I realize to find those people is really hard, but sometimes they'll show up to you and you just gotta take them. Okay, I don't pay her anything. She just gets free class. So she's doing this because she loves the studio. She loves me. Sorry. And she's really good at it. <clears throat> so if you can find somebody to help you. Plus, I just wanted somebody to hold my hand during all this tech stuff with a live. Granted, it's just a Facebook live, but I was going from the camera and then switched, flipping it so I could navigate people through the um, screen. So I invite you. If you're thinking about doing something like this, you know, a membership or a mastermind or curriculum, go ahead and watch my live and learn from it. I'm sure you'll see stuff like, oh, I would never do that, or oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so the Dancing House um, page here, I'll maybe put in the comments. So you can just link it, link to it, and I have a few videos out there that I have done. They're about 15 to 20 minutes long, okay? So I don't do this huge, like, hour training, okay? Um, some people, you know, they say to do a live training and a lot of them are like an hour and I'm like, I don't have an hour. So those are two things that I would uh, recommend. So get yourself a buddy that could kind of hold you accountable and maybe it's a coach. Maybe you hire a coach or maybe you have a really great person in your network that like my Mindy, she's my girl that just, hey, Melissa, you should think about this or hey, did you think about this yet? And she's just lovely. Um, and then getting your like launch team together. Okay, if and when the time comes. But like I said, even now with your brick and mortar, summer's coming. I'm sure you might have a summer camp or a summer workshop or something that you want to um, promote. So there's the time to do that, okay? Sorry. Um, if you have any questions about uh, growing your online, in this blog I did this past week, it, I have um, a four-part video series. And in there, it really, I'm giving it to you at a, at a discounted rate big time, okay? It's like more than 50% off. But it is so good. It has got so much knowledge in there about how to start where if you don't even know where to start and how to do it so frugally because um, a lot of, we're dance teachers, a lot of us don't have a lot of extra money. This is a seasonal thing. Summer's coming, you may not be as busy as you are during the school year. You may have kids that are just pulling your, in all directions. So summer might be the time to start it or it may be the time to just like really think about, okay, how could I do this? And this four part video series gives you homework, it gives you action items, it gives you tools, it gives you resources, it shows you about the tech, it shows you about marketing. It does all those things in a real overview, okay, it's just, but um, it, and then it also, um, it has that and some worksheets and it's really, really good. And it's something that can help your brick and mortar studio right now. And it can help you if you wanna go into the online arena, okay? But it's not a waste of your time because you can take these action items right now and apply them to your business. So that is what I'm really excited about. So go to my blog if you haven't already, grab those things um, and uh, I hope I, I know they will help you because they, they continue to serve me because these are things I use every day in my business. So as you watch this, if there's something that's coming to your mind, like what did you do with this or how did you do this, please comment. I'm here to serve you. This is free. This is just 
me to help for anybody who wants to go there. There's not many people bringing their dance to the online world, okay? There's not a lot of us, but it's a growing market. It's going big time, and you have a gift that you can share. I know you do, okay? Something that you teach over and over or uh, explain over and over to people, and you're like, I could scale this by doing it online, all right? Okay, have a great Friday. It's a great day. My baby turns nine today. My fourth baby turns nine. Oh, I would just have to pull the hair back tighter to get rid of the wrinkles, right? Okay, you guys, have a good week. Peace, bye-bye.